Hi friends, today we are going to see how to find whether a number is a palindrome or not in Java. Palindrome is a number or a string where it get read at same way both in forward or also from backward. That is for example number 292 is read as 292 when we read from forward also in same wise from backward. The logic that we are going to follow is these points. That is, we will be getting input from the user. Here we will check the number is a palindrome or not. So we will get the integer from the user. Then copy the original number in order to check whether the reversal number also same at the end. Now we need to apply the reversal logic on the number that is provided by the user and we can save the reversed result say in REV variable. If REV and the original value or same, then the number is said to be a palindrome. Else, it is not a palindrome. That is, for example, we can consider input provided by the user is 121 and the REV value that will be stored is 121 and this original number is equal to reverse number, then it is a palindrome. For a negative example, we can take that input provided by user is 21. When we reverse it, the value will be 12, which is not equal to the original number. So here the output will be displayed as it is not an palindrome. You can have the how logic to reverse a number by seeing your video that have been added in our playlist. Now we can move on to the coding part. In order to check whether a number is a palindrome or not, we need to get the input from the user. To get the input from the user, we need to use scanner class. Scanner class is available in java.util package. So we need to import the class that is java.util.scanner. Then we need to create the object in order to use the input class scanner that is class name scanner space object name then new keyword then again scanner and we need to pass an argument as system.in in order to get the input from the console and we can use this object name and access the input console. Here it prompts for the number that we need to check whether it is a palindrome or not. Next, s.next will get the input from the console that is an integer type and will be storing on to a variable say n. Then as said, n is stored in original variable in order to compare at last that reversed number is equal to original. So, we are going to use another temporary variable REV that will store the reversed output of the N. This is the reversal logic part where N get reversed and the output of the N reversal will be get stored in REV. You can watch the before video where we have uploaded that uh, how to reverse a number or a string in Java and you can get a better knowledge to reverse a number here. This is the way, uh, part where we are going to get the place value of a number. Then we will be adding the digit that have been obtained from a number and will be adding to the place value. Next here we will be deleting the digit that have been used by REV. So 
by applying this logic we will reverse the number that is n and the result have been stored to rev at last we will check if rev equal to equal to original then means it will print that it is a palindrome else it will print that it is not a palindrome we can execute this for example at first i will give the palindrome input that is 121 here you can see the number 121 is a palindrome again will give the number that is not a palindrome say 45 45 is not a palindrome since its reversal result will give as 54 hope you understand how to check whether the number is a palindrome or not thanks for watching the video you can download this code from git have a nice day